What's the good word, everybody? It's Barack here. I'm a strength coach, personal trainer. Most importantly, I'm here to help you pass the CSCS exam. Today, we're going to get into some more programming. This program is going to be for a sprinter in his preseason phase. Now, again, understanding the phase is going to be important. Before, before we even get into the phase and why that's important, let's just talk about the, the sport and the athlete real quick. So we're talking sprinter, a runner. This is going to be more on our easy end of uh, when we talk about needs analysis. If you haven't checked out our uh, needs analysis uh, blog, make sure you please check it out on the show up fitness.com site. But anyways, needs analysis for a sprinter. going to be kind of very minimal compared to our sports that require a lot of things. We just need this person to be as fast as they can. We're talking straightforward speed, power, all of the such. You're going to have a lot of obviously triple extension, hips, uh, ankles, knees. You're gonna need uh, you're gonna need to obviously just have power and speed to generate that force production times that stride length, um, and ultimately everything is gonna be in our ATP PC uh, you know form of energy system. So again, we're talking about like a mid distance runner or a long distance runner. Obviously, they're gonna have more uh, of the aerobic energy systems or even the glycolytic. But sprinter, we're gonna typically uh, assume that's gonna be our hundred meters and less. Again, that two hundred is kind of a hybrid. We still will kind of treat that more. Uh, in that ATP range, also we do need to get into some glycolysis there. But we're going to think straight ATP PC today, so power generation. And now let's talk about the phase of the season. Preseason. So again, off season, you know, the phase before this, we can really focus on kind of body changes or basic conditioning. Now we're getting closer to the season. So this is going to be like our early phase of the preseason. We're still not necessarily getting into our, uh, you know, official meets. But now some, you know, some practices are starting. We're doing a little more running. Which means that we're we're still gonna we don't want to go crazy on the volume. It can be moderate, uh, but as we get more and closer to the season, that volume is gonna drop more. But we do want our intensity increasing here, and you'll see that with the workout we've put together uh, today. So I'm just gonna start off first and foremost with some uh, some power uh, and strength banded deadlift. So you see the the band throwing the bands on something like a banded deadlift is just gonna help so much more. Not only is it gonna help with things like you know form naturally kind of locking those lats in to where you need to be. But we're also working on that kind of speed and that explosive aspect there. We're going to go a little faster than we were for a typical deadlift. So you see here, we're going to keep the reps low, but we're going to be going high. You know, 90% pl uh, plus as far as our uh, intensity and our load. Four by three here, we're going to superset it with some split power jumps. We're going to go right there, really working on just that ultimate, that power on each leg. We're going to go six per leg there. Our split power jumps, and obviously as we progress, we can add loaded, loaded weights, whether it be a dumbbell or kettlebell to that. Our second set of things, now we're going, again, that was more of our kind of power strength hybrid. Now we're getting into more just maximal strength. Barbell reverse lunges, three by five per leg. This is going to be heavy here again. We're looking upwards 85, 90% as far as our load. Pairing it up with some pull-ups, three by eight or whatever the max is they can get if it's less than eight. And then some landmine rotational twist. Again, uh, you know, we, we want that core to be strong. Although our running is pretty straightforward, we need to have that strength because there is a bit of that rotation when we're talking about a full speed strength. Then finally, we're going to get in a little volume again. Uh, this preseason, we don't have to take volume completely out as if we would in end season. Uh, we'll focus on in our last block. We'll go some single leg RDLs, three by eight per leg. Plyo push-ups, again, kind of some power, but also some endurance, three by ten. Then a goblet squat high rep, three sets of 15 to 20 is more of that burnout phase there. So, again, this is preseason. You can see this intensity. The load is going to be very high. The volume is at more of a moderate level. And, again, if you wanted to kind of warm up with some sport specific things like some banded hip flexion, things like that, you can throw that in the warm up. And as we get more and more into the end season, that might even be things we're working within the workout because we're not going to go as hard on the intense, uh, on, the, on the volume level. Yeah, preseason sprint workout. If you have any questions, please reach out. And if you're trying to get your CSCS as quick as possible, make sure you sign up for our class ASAP. Talk to you soon.